welcome back to Alien Noir. Chasing this fool. Fuck off you. This guy can bolt. Stop now or I will shoot. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Tom, watch your fire. Get down from there right now. Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. Yes, you are. I've done my time. It's over, Bowers. You assholes already screwed me once. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Oh, <laughs> I did it. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Oh, yes, come on, man. How you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Nope. I'm just amazing. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership, Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. <laughs> Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now. I could not be in the army. Not at all. Not even close. I thought about it a couple of times. Like, I like the idea of like, discipline and structure and you know, manners and stuff. For every cop, there's the case that makes you, gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one. I don't ever think I've used the word gumption. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Yeah, it looks like John Cryer. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Broad daylight. Yeah, but there's only like, so much fucking. I've seen everything. Like discipline I could take. Everybody, stay back. Let us do our job. Am I supposed to have found something here? I guess not. Galetta. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia.
Mm-hmm. Eventually at some point like, <laughs> it'll be like fucking uh I'm pretty sure I've examined most of them here. I feel like he's got a top pocket. I should have. What can I have? So I'll pick there, there, all right, there. All right. yes, head, it's a dead person. Right. Can I go up a little bit? Ah, it's back to his face again. Alright. Boom. Make sure we check the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. Uh, can I? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. We were born in... Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Twenty-seven. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, Miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. She's bullshitting. <laughs> uh, fuck it. You're lying, Miss Galetta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Because the fucking hang is... Here we go. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying. And tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't Hello, stop fucking a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Smack this bitch. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Well, my son is telling me to do that too. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice <laughs> things. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many. And they were so loud. I feel like truth. 
Yeah. There you go. So this is like a run of the mill like guidance thing. So. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened, Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my, my, Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Spending intuition points. It's bullshit. It wasn't permanent things. It was making it seem as if like it's like a wee bonus thing. Like oh, I've got two initial intuition points, so I'll uh, what's that over there. Well, oh fuck, I never noticed that five point. So this is the shit you need to look at. The thing is, I'm going to be blabbering like a fool here, so like the attention that I will need to pay, like, to it. I walk up to the cops see if I've got any cutscene. Nah, no cutscene. Alright. Oh, wait a minute, so they dumped the gun in the bin. I'll feel bad then there was no fingerprints or stuff. It's <laughs> just like, oh, evidence! Let me put my hands all over it. Fuck it. My oh, Jesus. FN Browning. Serial number 01138. I need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfields. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Oh, for fuck's sake. Get in the car, the mass. Real happiness is when you marry a woman for love. Later, find out she's got some money. Motherfucker, you are messing my shit up. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. We have police work fools. Oh. I'm in through it. I was reading up on like uh, like rates as far as like getting uh, the stop and search and then oh shit the fuck out the road and then I was reading up on like getting pulled over the police and what rates you have and I'm telling you see all the government shit wasted time it doesn't tell you it tells you the rates is what you have as far as um, like police point of view like oh you like you should do this uh, they'll tell you why they're pulling you over what they're looking for the suspicion. But I might know. I don't want to know. I want to know what questions I have to answer, what I have to do, like not do, what I have the right to defend, like you know that kind of shit. Get the fuck out of the road, man. I and mean, then every place I found it would not fucking answer it. And I was watching this video, and like somebody was saying, I seen the uh, wings liked it. So I watched it and it was a, a kid who knew like his rates and stuff and this policeman pulled over at a D DUI checkpoint and uh, some guy wrote in the comments, Sir, oh this guy's been a tool. Can I interest you in a new watch? Why are you fucking some questions Officer mate? Cole Feltz, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no, uh, Mr. Kalu. Oh, I recognize that guy. Back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. He's an actor. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! And then, um, what was I talking about? Uh, uh, aye, so some guy wrote, oh, this guy, this kid's obviously been a tool. Hello! 
And uh, I was like, no, it's not been a tool. It's just that ninety percent of the people who get pulled over don't know the rights. So a kid that actually knows his rights looks as if he's annoying the cops, which he could maybe kind of is. But because of that, because cops usually give up, get away with a lot of shit because they just go along with it. Like, okay, I've been pulled over. Okay, yes, 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 I'll do this. Okay. I can't tackle him. Yeah, I'm just fucking miles away. Don't make it worse, Kalu. The guy's a fucking bomber. Look, look at the fucking. I'm supposed to tackle that. Maybe the guy should have run fucking track. I said next to the tackle. Tackle. Okay. <laughs> Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds fast. I recognize that guy, you know? I hear it's you who knocked our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal coming, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. I like that. This is your chance. Don't fail me. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. <laughs> is that shit? Wait, I remember this part. This is one part I remember. I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. And the only reason I remember this is because I failed like four times because it came to like the read the emotions pitch. Because this was a game that came out with saying, "Oh, there's new face recognition technology and all this crap," which I admit at the time was fucking stunning, but I still couldn't grasp the bloody thing. So, but we'll leave it here because I suspect that I probably once again will fail <laughs> like a few times and uh, we'll see what happens anyway so hopefully you want more I say um, I've recorded this ep like episode right after just in case you want more from the first one so I've already got one ready for you but if you want more uh, yeah just let me know and I'll see you in the next one